It appears Merrick has awoken Rom. There's no time to waste. We must again visit Paranax in China. He knows where Pegasus' castle is. Find the location of the castle and stop the dark beam. Alright, let's go to China. I don't know why, for some reason, I thought we had to go to Ishizu. <laughs> The Winged Dragon of Ra has awakened, I see. We did exactly what you said, Pops. Now come on, where's Pegasus Iden? Be patient. I've been living in the mountains for generations, and I've become bored. I feel like playing a game. It's very simple. You have to first catch me, then duel me. If you win, I will tell you whatever you wish. But I will not be caught so easily. <laughs> What's up with that guy? Who knows? Let's just go catch him. Uh, Alright. Uh, hey everyone, it's Curly Aired Hero. I was gonna say Curly and Cream, but that's not right. <laughs> We're, I guess, chasing after Simon now. Or, sorry, um. What is his name? <laughs> uh. Paradox. You'll proceed no further without defeating me. Oh boy, it's gonna be one of these, huh? They're about as powerful as Neil Ghouls. Most impressive. You deserve a card. Take. This Kuribo? Your path is clear. Advance. Oh. What? Huh? Where are we? We went through that tall building, but. Uh. Anyways, let's keep moving? We will proceed no further without defeating me? Huh? Pick this time wizard. Path is clear. Advance. Uh, first was Karibo, then Time Wizard. Is the next one gonna be like a three-star monster or something like that? Take Giant Soldier Stone. Yeah, that's a three-star monster. Okay. Oh, there we go. I guess we just have to do it five times. Oh, that's weird. However, you've passed these challenges so far. Along the way, you've received given cards. You understand what they represent? Yeah, there's one for each level. Ah, good, good, yeah. So we got, what was it? Karibo, Time Wizard, Giant Soldier of Stone, Celtic Guardian, and Curse of Dragon. Fine, then answer my questions. Which card came first? I just said Karibo. <laughs> ah, good, you seem to understand. Which card would become fifth if it was Curse of Dragon? Seems you really understand. Oh, I get it. The cards we received were in sequence. They were in the order of their levels. Creep was level 1, and so it came first. Curse of Dragon came last because it's level 5. That's what we had to figure out, right? Curly? You still haven't passed all of my tests. You claim to be a duelist, therefore we shall duel. Alright, so let's duel this guy now. Um, got an okay hand here. Now that we've got Ancient Lamp, I need to get a couple more copies of Ancient Lamp. And then probably replace them with Kahana. And that could probably be a pretty solid deal. Let's just go ahead and uh, do this while we're at it. Uh, let's not use my little nozzle because I'm just going to lose it. Let's go ahead and split up into Dark Magician and Flame Swordsman. Not bad. Uh, speak of the Devil, I guess we'll use Kahana here. Let's go ahead and boost her up a little bit. Use Flame Swordsman to go through this. Uh, Garden of the Throne Room, and then attack with the Dark Magician. Uh, turn here. Well, it's not gonna be able to do Dilla Squats. We're gonna go ahead with the Blade Knight. He's gonna get powered up because I only have a single card in my hand. Blade Knight's funny because you can just discard cards in this game, but um, oh well. Out of LP, battle is victory. I wonder if we could do something cheesy where it's like you have a bunch of Blade Knights and then cards that like activate in the graveyard, like. Dark Flare Knight? I don't know if that works just by discarding. I'll have to try that sometime. Hmm. I haven't dueled for so long, my instincts are rusty. Making excuses? Some sage. Oh well. I will grant your wish. Pegasus is on his island. The island is cloaked by a magical barrier. I shall extinguish that barrier for you. Ha! <laughs> that is all I can do. Why the hell was it cloaked in a magical barrier? but they were telling us to go there. That doesn't make any sense. I'm afraid the rest is entirely up to you. The hope of the world rests with you. What? He disappeared? 
What a strange old man. Strange. Fractacular, I'd say. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's go to Pegasus's island. Alright, so I guess now I should be able to just uh, see the island somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Pegasus Island is in uh, somewhere south of Japan. Okay, I guess that <laughs> kind of makes sense. I'm not really sure where Domino City is. But, um, oh, I guess it's in Japan. Because I see the little like thing pointing out of it. Okay, cool beans. Let's go back to Clock Tower. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. So I've been trying to like look around and see if there's any of like those little like filler things that happen, like, you know, the thing with the monkey, the thing with Serenity, and the Kyber Man stuff, all that kind of stuff. I haven't really seen any of that, uh, anymore. I just want to go ahead and take a quick look, uh, but it looks like there really might not be anything. Just so I can, like, get all that stuff out of the way before I go to Pegasus Castle, because I'm assuming that's going to be like, about the end of the game. Uh, he's just telling us stuff to go get Mokuba. Um, that's about as far as I remember. I don't know if I remember doing any of this stuff with Paradox, but I do remember the last memory I have of this game is fighting Kaiba, which we're, I'm guessing we're going to have to do next in order to get his um, Obelisk Tormentor. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but I think that's what's going to happen next, and that's as far as I remember what happens in this game. But I also don't remember any of the other, like, small little things happening, uh, so I'm not too sure. Um, I don't think this old couple's doing anything. I forgot I can run in this game, I don't think it matters. There was something I could have done here, but I guess I can't do it anymore. But uh, if you came back here before the new ghoul stuff, Bones is actually there with, like, a fortune-telling table. He can actually tell your fortune. You know, he just says a bunch of random bullshit. Um, that really doesn't <laughs> pertain to anything, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I missed out on getting that on, I guess, camera. Uh, cool, I guess I don't think there's anything to do, because everyone's kind of gone. Do you guys want to accidentally discover anything? No? Yeah, I don't think there's really anything left. I just have to go straight to Pegasus's castle. Um, so I guess, alright, let's just go... Do that. Let's start off with Pegasus's castle. So this is Pegasus's island. Soto Kaiba has probably already gone ahead. I do not know what Pegasus is planning, but we cannot ignore Rashif the Dark Being. Harsh battles await, but don't succumb in the face of adversity. Alright, can I duel you? The Lewis King tournament was once held here. However, the island has been transformed since then. There must be many duels under Rashif's control. They're ready to ambush us. Be careful as you make your way to Pegasus's castle. All right. Wonder who's gonna show up. That Pegasus. What drove him to do this? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you, Curly. I have no idea what Pegasus is thinking. He's one mad sicko, but. Pegasus was always a master duelist. No one could argue with that. Especially since we faced him firsthand. So why would he resort to even dirtier tricks than before? I'm not the smartest guy on the planet, but I know that Pegasus isn't a real duelist anymore, isn't what? <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You go no further, yeah. Who are you? I am one of many! Master Chef has turned us into duelers. Yeah. I have no longer have name, Nyanita! But if you must call us some call us Chevaliers! We have pledged allegiance to Master Shovel Sky. That Pegasus, he's really annoying me now. Curly's time to lay down the law against this fucking pickle. <laughs> this pickle Pegasus? Alright, whatever. Oh, let's go ahead and uh, do in here. Set a card face down. We're gonna oof some of the Mahavalo, huh? All right. Uh, Mahavalo is actually a light monster, which is a little bit annoying. But I've got Beckoning to the Darkness. Get that shit out of my face. To so tribute Duran for Leopard Girl, can get boosted by this uh, malevolent nuzzle for a nice twenty-four fifty. 
Must be nice to start m with more than 8,000 life points, you dirty fucking cheater. Um, let's go ahead and power her up even more. Get this hourglass of life here. Get rid of this man of the moonlight. Hopefully this monster can survive. Perfect. Uh, I'm a bit scared to summon you. Um, that sucks. To summon uh, Mythical Sand. I feel like he's gonna have a lot of like light monsters that are gonna destroy her. Maybe not. He's got some Earth monsters now. No one's ever consistent in these games. Go ahead and tribute this for a Dark Flare Knight. And give him the Leopard Kick. Here, not bad. Oh my gosh, should be able to finish this off pretty easily. Let's go ahead and just bring out Mythical. Uh, lodge in the Mythical Genie just for shits and kill and finish you off with Leopard Girl. There we go. I guess I should have discarded uh, Dark Flare Knight, but oh well. Get yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Get yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't go any further. Oh boy, I'm gonna do it again. Oh shit, alright. Uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Oh my god, Swords is so obnoxious. You can't even, like, get rid of it. It's just freaking there. Alright. Uh, whoops. Oh, balls. That's not what I want to do. My button keeps getting stuck. Alright. Just use the effect, I guess. I don't really have much of a choice. Uh, end our turn here. Cool, why well, could Rune got rid of that? Alright, so let's go ahead and tribute this. For the start flare night, and I guess end our turn here. Mountain is gonna transform everything into a mountain, so dragons, wind beasts, and thunder types will gain power. Cool beans. Uh, here is the giant Rex that I managed to nab off of uh, your boy Odeon. Okay, there we go. So now that should no longer be in effect. So let's go ahead and attack here, hopefully, not into a wind monster. I can't believe you're gonna make me do three duels in a row <laughs> without being able to heal in between. And on top of that, um, these guys have more life points than they should. That sounds. I mean, I don't know. I guess Pegasus is really a bad guy, so. Can't be surprised that he's playing super dirty. I should have activated. Oh, well, I guess it wouldn't matter if I activated Mega Morph. I still wouldn't have been able to win. Um, let's just go back to the Mega Morph here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, thing and then finish him off with the Cyber Harpy. Not bad, and then they're not really giving me anything. This mermaid is not good. She's five stars. So, yeah. Alright, so let's take on the last guy here. Uh, I can't anti up my. Mystical Elf that I've been anting up this entire time because I lost it to Merrick. Okay, now right off the bat, we're going to start with this. Um, not bad. Let me set a card, summon Harpy Lady, and activate Pot of Greed to draw two more cards. Then activate the Inexperienced Spy here. Take a look at what you got. Not too much. Now let's go ahead and Whiplash. This monster here. Cool beans. Uh, it would be nice if I could just get another monster so I could maybe summon Slifer or Raw and like destroy this entire like little trolley that we're in. Ah, oh, we're actually gonna get another Harpy, so let's go ahead and get rid of that monster. Attack you directly here. And end my turn. Uh, forest is gonna transform everything into a forest instead. Okay. As a trap hole is gonna get rid of Mus Mother Grizzly. Why was Mother Grizzly attacking? That was weird. Uh, what does Raw even do? Okay, cut my life points to one and hit the opponent with the amount of life points they had lost. Jesus, that's garbage. <laughs> oh, that is so bad. I'll lose all of my life points. I'll have one life point for the next duel. Apparently, forest can break through. Okay, not, not too surprising. Let's go ahead and activate Duran here. Um, I guess throw out a Regeki so your monster can't do shit. And end our turn here. One monster is going to attack, that's fine. But I will activate Brain Control, which in this game is for free. And attribute all three of my monsters to summon Sliver the Sky Dragon and attack you directly. Thunder Force! There we go. 
a measly 500 and a spike bot. But hey, there go all the pickle pegasuses. Pickled pegasuses. Pickled pegasi. Ah, looks like it stopped. Let's keep going, Curly. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> I commend you for coming this far. Oh boy, not this guy too. But yeah, getting any further, we won't let you go. Ha! In your dream, we'll take you down. Curly, pick which one you want to duel. Neither of them, bro. <laughs> okay. As Yugi just stands by. Oh boy, I guess we got another one here. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's power her up, I guess. Let's just set this on our turn. Cool, he's got nothing. Love to see it. Let's get Duran out here. Get him for 19. Wow, he has like 1,500 life points. 15,000 life points. What an absolute tool. I have less than 4,000. Ugh, alright. Let's go ahead and summon this. Cyber Harpy and hit through his monster here. I can't believe they actually <laughs> gave these guys so much life boards, man. This game is fucking brutal. Like, un unapologetically brutal. Oh, like the f how much I've had to grind up to get it to the point where I can barely compete. And this game is still like, nope, that is not enough. <laughs> We're still gonna give everyone the utmost advantage. Man, oh, man. oh. God, not swords. Ugh, and there's nothing I can do about stupid swords. And he's not even gonna do anything. He's just gonna try and summon monsters and get his ass clapped. Ugh, let me just put this in the fence so I don't lose any life points. I can't believe swords. <laughs> swords are so dumb. You just activate and you just cannot attack. There we go. Okay. Pot of green, maybe I can get something like change of heart. No, but Regeki will do. Let's finish you off with Cyber Harpy here. I thought you had enough for Ruby Star, but never mind. Well, I'm actually going to get a decent amount of deck capacity. King Yamazaki, for whatever reason, has 331. Oh, because he's a one star with 26. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Um, all things considered, but. I don't know why they gave him so much of attack in this game. I lost again? Uh, how dare you? But how will you deal with this? K -k 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 we'll duel until I win. Oh, God. Joe, just punch me in the face. Forget it, you lowlifes. You're not going to waste Curly and Yugi's time. Let me handle this. Curly, you keep going. By yourself? <laughs> I know when I'm in over my head. I don't have any Egyptian god cards. That's why you have to keep going, Curly. Make sure you take down Pegasus. Yeah, a scrub is challenging me? How amusing. <laughs> you think you can beat the two of us yourself? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> you two are all talk. Why don't you shut up your mouths and duel? This guy is pretty good, but I won't lose. I refuse to lose. Curly, what are you waiting for? Go on. Where am I going? Let's go, Curly. Alright. Oh, um, jeez. Uh, we'll take on the rest of Pegasus's castle next time. Take care of yourself.